So I personally, I really, I love driving the train, especially when it's so smoothly and so calm. You can work, you can sleep, you can chat with your friends. It's wonderful. But today we are driving with a train which is filled with hydrogen. So I wonder where does the hydrogen come from? And therefore I would like to show you now a video um, and we take a look to Linde, who is the hydrogen partner of Alstom. And they built the first filling station in Bremerförde, which is, by the way, the first worldwide. So let's take a look. Never before has a filling station been built on such a scale. Alstom needs partners to get it done on time and reliably. In Germany, Linde is the hydrogen supplier. This is the first of its kind worldwide, uh, not only for us, but uh, for basically for uh, the industry. We're very proud to be here and um, to have successfully completed this project with our partners. We already have a lot of experience on similar projects of significant smaller scale for mobility solutions in the passenger car space and in the space for um, commercial vehicles. But for trains, this is really a first of its kind. The hydrogen stored in this filling station is enough for more than 15,000 kilometers on the rail. We are filling 14 trains per day. Uh, we are basically holding a capacity of um, uh, more than 1,800 kilograms of hydrogen on site so that we can supply the 14 trains. And we are bringing roughly 1,600 um, kilograms of hydrogen every day to this place in order to uh, have enough hydrogen which the trains need to, to run smoothly. The hydrogen is produced in a factory in Stadler. Only a few kilometers away, not long ago, the gas was still considered waste. Today, it is a revenue generator. Already now, hydrogen makes a significant portion of our revenues. Um, for, for us, it's a bit more than, than 10%, but it varies by country. Um, currently, we're producing most of the hydrogen through steam reforming, which is a very old traditional way. Um, going forward, we will shift and we will sig produce significantly more quantities of green hydrogen, which will be clean and also uh, only produced from renewable energy. So this part, especially this green hydrogen component, makes a significant portion of our future strategy. It's one of the cornerstones of, on where we want to grow. This project here is one of the foundation stones to bring this to life, and we hope to see more of them in the near future. The course has been set. With strong partners like Linda, emission-free rail transport is becoming a reality. Thank you so much, Matthias Kranz, for showing us the station. And without it, this ride today could never have been happened today. So thank you for showing us the station in detail. And with green hydrogen to be produced on site in the near future, the full energy chain for moving the train will be completely emission free. That's amazing. So I will lay back now, enjoy the beautiful perspective here and relax a little bit. I hope you can do so too and we see each other very soon.